Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix this blue screen of death you might be getting on your Windows 10 machine. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, I've written this blog post that goes into this error quite in depth. So I'm going to post that in the description if you want to take a look. Uh, but now I'm going to show you how to fix this on Windows 10. So when you get this error message, you might get a blue screen of death like this or even a black screen of death uh, that says Windows Boot Manager and it shows you all this information. Uh, when you get this error, you won't be able to boot to your desktop. So what we need to do is if you head over to another machine that you can boot to the desktop, we need to create a Windows 10 recovery disk. So if you head over to Google, type in Windows 10 ISO and then click on this link here, download Windows 10 disk. Uh, the direct link is also in this blog article here. Um, if you can't find this link, uh, what we need to do is click on download tool now, click run. If you get prompted here, click yes. And we've got two options with this tool, either to create a bootable USB drive or a Windows uh, DVD. Uh, in this guide, I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB drive. OK, at the first screen, if you click on Accept. On the next screen, we need to uh, select this option, Create Installation Media. Click Next. Uh, you can either leave it as default or if you want to change it, like if you know you're using Windows 10 uh, 64-bit, select 64-bit, uh, click Next once you've selected the right options. Here we're going to create a USB flash drive, so click Next. Um, I don't actually have a flash drive on this machine, but if you did, it will show it in the list here. So you simply just select uh, the correct drive and then click Next and Finish. Uh, please be aware that whatever's on the flash drive, it's going to format the, the USB disk and then it put all the files on there. Uh, when it puts the files on there, it needs to download it from the Microsoft website. It's about 2.5 gigs worth of files. Uh, so depending on your internet link, it could take between 10 minutes and half an hour to load. Once that is finished, uh, close the application down and you'll need to put the USB stick onto the into the machine that you're having issues with. Uh, you might need to change the BIOS settings so it boots to the USB stick. So when it does uh, reboot, you'll get prompted to press any key to boot to the operating to that disk. Okay, when it boots to the recovery uh, USB drive we just created, the main screen or say this just make sure you select uh, your local language and your keyboard input here so i'm in the united kingdom so i'm obviously going to select those options uh, click next uh, do not click on install now down the bottom left click on repair your computer and under this screen click on troubleshoot and then click on startup repair uh, what that's going to do is it's going to run um, an application that will check uh, the Windows 10 startup files. If it finds any issues with them at all, it's going to fix those issues. Um, so just run that application first. Um, once it's completed, uh, shut down your machine, remove the USB drive and start up your machine again. Hopefully it'll boot to the desktop. If it doesn't, come back into here, the advanced options, and open up the command prompt application. Type in this command, check disk, C colon forward slash R forward slash F, and hit enter. Um, I'm going to put that uh, command in the link in the description as well, so you can uh, go and see that command. Uh, typically, that will take uh, a minute or so. Um, to 20 minutes depending on how big your hard drive is and how many files it's got on there what it's going to do is it's going to find um, corrupt files and bad sectors and automatically fix them so once that has finished if you type in exit and then click on turn off your machine uh, remove your USB drive again restart your machine hopefully it will boot to the desktop uh, if not come back in here again click on troubleshoot uninstall updates and if you click on both of these uh, one by one 
uh, it's going to uninstall the previous um, installed updates. Maybe it's a Windows update uh, that's caused this issue, um, stopping us going to the desktop. So remove both of them. Again, come into here and shut down your machine, remove the USB drive and try and boot up again. Uh, hopefully you'll get to your desktop. Uh, if not, the last thing we can try is a system restore. So if you click on there, and if you're lucky enough to have um, a restore point that you can go back to, uh, select that and restore it. Hopefully that will take it back to before you had the issue. Okay, if you uh, use this article, uh, please let me know how you get on. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.